guys what's up there's a little kitty in the pot see him that's a kitty i had to adjust the lighting because i shined the light straight back and the cat decided to sleep right in front of the light and i was shining the beam in front of him so you guys get to see the little kitty here and i had to that's why it's like darker on this side i just shifted the lighting but it honestly it kind of looks good sometimes i do things that actually look better unintentionally. I feel like it's darker over here, but it also kind of puts a nice silhouette over me. You guys let me know what you think, but honestly, maybe the cat has assisted me. Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 8, Episode 12. I thought the cat just ran out. I think it's 12. Episode 12 of Adventure Time. Last we saw, we got Charlie. Jake's daughter, Charlie. They go on a little daughter-father card wars adventure. We meet Grand Prix and Jake's ex-girlfriend, who was a horse. I cannot remember the name. I'm going to move my chair a little bit, though. See the kitty? Oh, God, he's so cute. Look at his little face. I shouldn't yell too loud. If I yell too loud, sometimes he gets scared. You'll see. Like, if I do things, he'll jump. But you'll notice I won't. Either way, Charlie is amazing. I'm not sure what is abilities and what is me misunderstanding things. Because here's my theory. Jake can only grow so big because he stretches his body and we've learned that at some point he can't stretch anymore. I mean, he's got a lot of room to go, but there's limits is my point. It appeared that Charlie could grow bigger than Jake by far, but I am confused with whether or not she was invincible or she stretched herself so big that she was see-through. That's what I thought. But then I was like, wait, am I just assuming that? Because they never confirmed anything. I'm not sure now. Because if she could become invisible, one, that's amazing because that's another ability that's great. And two, that means that she doesn't have limits to size. I'm already under the assumption that Charlie could grow way, way bigger than Jake. Because even though we saw Jake's limits were extreme, he was still like on the surface of the earth. And Charlie grew... To literally, if you took her size, she was like half the size of the earth, maybe bigger. I didn't rewatch it, but she was pretty damn big. I mean, she might have been as big as the earth at some point when she grew. And she just walked to Egypt where she had a pyramid, some sort of a building that she was doing the magic in with the cards. That was interesting, too. She was into tarot cards and it correlated to the Dungeon Wars game or the uh, the Card Wars game, but I don't know if that goes any deeper or further. Either way, she is amazingly powerful because even if, let's just assume that she stretched herself and she doesn't turn invisible, which already is an amazing power, she's way more powerful than Jake as far as growing. She also has some sort of ability where she tapped Jake's head and took all of the evilness out of him. What was that? Jake had like horns, almost lich-like pointy little horns. He kind of almost even looked like a wolf man. Like he lost his ability to control himself and he turned into this aggressive beastie. Charlie also had the ability to just zone him out. Like she is not afraid to speak her mind. I'm probably going to be really good at card wars, but I really don't care to try because it's just not my thing. And then she just zones him out. We hear the ocean and the waves and things breaking, but Jake is going spastic at his old Card Wars thing, and we saw his old girlfriend, like I said. So she does this magic trick. She joins with her 90-year-old self, and she saves Jake's dignity. I just want to jump in. I don't know where we're going from here, but that was amazing. I don't know. Is it too dark on the left? Unintentional, but this little guy wanted to sit, and I am just too much of a lover of animals to shine a beam of light into his eyes. So you guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are done in full with this entire series. If not, Season 8, Episode 12, Adventure Time. Pre-boot. And that looked like Susan Strong. And we saw Susan Strong in... Yo! Whoops! Kind of a bust, man. It's an arcade! It's an old arcade! Human culture. Quarter hoarder. It has been a I'm going to the arcade tonight. Put on me. Someone could definitely get cursed Fit here. Fit roll punch. And I hope it's me! Guys, when he walked in, I wasn't ready for it, and there was machine names. I bet you there was references to things. It's the bones of a prehistoric horse. They used their poles to sting people who tried to steal their honey. Oh horse my honey. god. A demon. Huh? The dino plush is cursed. Game on you. Hey, Bo. 
bozos. It's me, Cyber Tiffany. Tiffany! What? Come with me, and I'll explain almost everything. <laughs> All right, I'm in. New flesh. Pretty nice, huh? I came straight from a worm queen's intestine, so I'm biased. How'd you get that sick bionic arm? Oh, this old thing? It was a gift from the doctor. But how did you... Cyber Shush, Finn. Wait for the reveal. Is he giving him the middle finger? It well, almost looked like the middle I finger. think bionic arms are cool. <laughs> Dang, you speak robot? Stay with the tour. <laughs> Unlocking sequence confirmed. Whoa, look at all these dang beakers. Please keep out of restricted areas. That was the image we saw, the pre-boot. She, she looked like she was in it. Confirmed. Was she created? Oh, oh, what, what? Just one second. I'm Dr. Gross. Dr. Gross? That's a funny name. Oh my God, I know that Can voice. You a prescription for my bro? Evolution's a natural process, but it's not exactly the fastest. Step into my menagerie. Does she have like one of everything? The mashups, bro. A mouse a shark? Really fast chick with Click. A guy that knows what time it is. Whoa. This zoo's amazing. This what? isn't a zoo, zoo nerd. It's a menagerie. Oh, we got a scorpion deal? squirrel. That's a scorp monk. Look at you go, girl. It's almost like he's trying to tell Sweet me something. Sweet granny, look at the hour and so many more wonderful things still to do. Are they saying they're like... Jeez, I did my warning dance and everything. Did you hear that, Susan? The imagination room. I think she's going to try to mix them all or something. Lollipops for but Finn told Susan not to take candy from strangers. Yeah. So eat him quick and let's get this show started. Sometimes I just gotta get out of this hot stem suit. You're human? I thought I was the last one. Well, me and Martin and Betty and sometimes Ice King. Yeah. Maybe Susan. I, I mean. Questions about Susan. Yeah. What is Susan? Actually, well, that's scary. Humans have relied on mods for thousands of years. Glasses to let us see better, scissor hands, and telescopic spider legs. The more mods you'll earn. It's like an incentive program. It's a great program. 100% natchy. Jake! Susan's stuck too. Oh, you put the paralyzing juice in the candy. Assistance! Wolf lards! Is this still part of the tour? I was gonna say, they look the like those gross? things, the sea lards. They used to ask me that all the time back at the island. Lady, you are sick! I feel like Susan's already been None messed of you with. Know what you want. Other humans? There are more humans? You see, she's Let's gonna put see a chip. Kind of melon you got Susan's here. got one. You've already got an implant. Wait, you're one of <laughs> But I dosed the candy. Oh, sh She's getting away! I was gonna say, is her head still human? How horrifying is this? Oh my Fetch god, saw right. blades in its Let body. Susan will protect you! Oh my god, she used Finn. She is using Jake and Finn to beat them up. Net gun. Let's get you scamps back to the operating table. You can't do that, boss. I've got a blood brother connection to Jake. I'll splice you a new dog boy. The ongoing saga that is Tiffany. I love it. Don't worry about me. Okay. Uh, okay. Aren't you curious about how I know you? Tiffany will be okay, man. Probably be okay, man. Oh, smell. Looks like some of the hybrids busted out. Giant electro wheel headed straight towards the candy kingdom. That's it. All right, guys, so that was pre-boot. There is Susan Strong. Ray makes these thumbnails for me, and usually the thumbnail has something to do with the season, but I mean, we are halfway through. We're on episode 12. I mean, we're not that far in, but I totally forgot about Susan, and she even appeared in the Battle of the Bands episode, which we just watched. Not last one, the one before that, I think. Either way, I totally like didn't even think about it because Susan was kind of just there for the sake of being there because everyone was kind of there in that episode. And I didn't think much of it. I didn't even reference this. But here we have her in the thumbnail. It's pre-boot and it shows Susan in like a flower type thing that looks like that's where she came from. Now, what are the odds? I didn't catch the name of this lady. There's like this human that is full of mods. I don't 
remember the name. Did we get a name? I don't remember getting a name, but whoever she is and whatever her name is, she is a human going around trying to find other humans and then mod the crap out of them. So she goes to shave Finn's head and then when she goes over to do Susan's head, I already assumed at that point, because we know that she's got something on her head, that Susan is already one of them. But I thought Susan might be a part of it, or maybe Susan lost her memory like we see, and she's bad. Maybe she really was working. Maybe she was like Tiffany is now. Maybe she worked for this girl and then realized what she was doing was wrong, and then had her memory wiped and escaped or something. That could be a thing. We haven't seen Tiffany in forever. Tiffany's already got a bionic arm. I feel like Tiffany is being manipulated and doesn't realize how bad what they're doing is. He even said at the end there, he's like, what, you don't want to hang out with me? I thought you guys would want to hang. Like he almost feels let down and abandoned when he he's the one creating all this. I mean, this person is making crazy hybrids, like violent hybrids, clearly, because she's using them as henchmen or minions to do her bidding. And Tiffany's just another one and doesn't even realize it. Susan realizes through instincts, I guess, that she has to get out of here, saves Finn, saves Jake. The woman even said, don't you want to know why I know you? Like, don't you like, like jokingly, I mean, not jokingly, but to us, it's for the audience. Like, hey, uh, don't you guys want to stick around and figure out why I know you guys? I mean, that's something. It just gave us more questions because I already knew she had something in her head. We now have the origin, I guess, of where it came from, but not really because she didn't recognize Susan. She recognized the number on Susan's head. She must have not been around, which means somebody was before her that created Susan, or there's multiple of these, because she did say there are more humans. Like Finn said, oh my God, there's more humans. There's not just us. And then Jake was like joking, like, yeah, we're not even sure. Is Susan a human? I'm assuming Susan is, but we really don't know for sure. But in the end, Susan breaks them out, escapes. They release all the hybrids, a giant explosion happens. That was funny. You see that in movies and TV all the time. Don't worry. I think they're fine. Boom. A massive explosion. My guess is they are alive. Maybe they teleported out or something. I don't know. But they have mods. They could do something. I just can't imagine that Tiffany would die off screen like that. Or the other woman. Like I said, I don't remember her name. Oh, Dr. Gross. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Her name is Dr. Gross. I am an idiot. They said it like 10 times. But I'm thinking... After she took her suit off, shouldn't she have given us her actual name? I guess we're just going to refer to her as Dr. Gross. I feel like we're not done with her. You don't bring a new character in and then bring Tiffany back and then have them both die off screen, do you? I doubt it. There's got to be more to it. Susan's with us now. Like, we just started the episode and Susan was with us before any of this even happened. So we were, like, helping Susan with something or going to an arcade. Why were we at the arcade? I don't know. That was just interesting in itself because we haven't seen Susan in forever besides the Battle of the Bands. And now we're on, like, a journey with her. But I'm going to jump right into the next one because I'm curious to see if these somehow connect. And if not, then it doesn't matter because we'll just throw it in the bank of memories of all the craziness that is Adventure Time. You guys want to be way ahead. Full unedited episodes all the shows on the channel. Seasons ahead of what you're seeing and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. If you're seeing this on YouTube, we are done in full with this entire show. Check the link. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.